Yo guys, what is up? It's Zebrafy here, coming back with another video. I know I haven't posted in quite a while. I've been kind of busy, and I've been, you know, just trying to take a little break. But I'm back now, and I wanted to update my low ping guide. It did pretty good in the past, and I have some new tweaks to update you guys with. So real quick, before we start and get into it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It greatly supports me. But anyway, guys, let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a restore point. Uh, I always like to have a restore point created because there's people that sometimes have issues with these tweaks and I don't want to be responsible for like, you know, I don't want to mess up someone's PC. Not that I'm trying to, but if something does end up going wrong, you'll always have a place to revert to. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go to create a restore point. So just look for this right here in the search bar, create a restore point. And in here, you just want to make sure that you have system protection on for at least like your main drive. And then right here, hit create and name it whatever you want. And then it'll just quickly create a restore point. And basically what this does, it just allows you to go back to wherever you were in the current moment when you created that restore point. So if anything goes wrong here, you can just go right back to that restore point. Now the first place that we're going to go is device manager. We're going to make sure that our drivers are updated and we're going to tweak a few settings in here that could make you have lower ping. So what you want to do is you want to go in that device manager, which you right click down here, device manager, or you could also just search device manager. But once you're in here, uh, what you want to do is you want to drop down network adapters. You want to find the one that you're currently using. So if you're using Ethernet, it should say something like Ethernet. Like it should have Ethernet in the word. If you're using Wi-Fi, it'll probably be called like Wi-Fi adapter. Anyways, you'd want to just find the one that you're actively using. Then right click it and go to properties. And you're going to want to go to driver and hit update driver. Now you can search automatically. If this, if this doesn't find anything and you want to make sure, like extra sure, that your driver isn't updated or that your driver is fully updated x that out look at your driver date so you can do four so this is 4 2 2020 and then what i do is i'd go to the website i'll have links for the website for all the drivers in the description intel real tech and killer drivers i'll put all the links in the description for you guys don't worry so you can check your drivers and you just want to check the driver date so this is the current drive my current driver's date if I go on the Intel website or whatever website my driver is and look at the new driver, if there's a newer driver that's newer than 4.2.2020, then I'd want to update to that and it can lower my ping and stuff. But make sure that you update your driver before any of the tweaks that we're doing because updating your driver will completely reset all the tweaks and you'll have to start from scratch. Uh, so do that and then come back when you're done with that. You can just pause the video or whatever. And now we are going to go to power management. Just make sure you have these boxes unchecked. You don't want the computer to turn off your, uh, you don't want the computer to turn off your internet to save Wi-Fi or to save power, my bad. And after that, we can just close out of that. Now, real quick, one thing I do want to mention is when you're playing the game itself, Fortnite, Call of Duty, whatever game you're playing, make sure that you have the correct server selected because sometimes you may have the wrong one selected or if it's on auto, sometimes it could put you on a different server by priority and that would not be good. And, uh, okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to disable some background apps. So if you have a little arrow down here and you open it up and it has like a bunch of applications running, like you have a bunch of things open, then that's not good. That's what we're going to fix right now. So you want to right click the task bar and click on task manager. Now, once you're in task manager, we're going to want to go over to the startup tab. And in startup, what I like to do is I like to disable every single thing in here unless I know I truly need it. What startup does is every single time you restart or turn on your PC, it'll auto start all of the apps on here that are enabled and it'll first off it'll slow your pc from loading and then after your pc loads you'll just have all those programs just running in the background probably without you even knowing and it could slow down your ping it could give you less fps could make you lag etc so i just recommend disabling every single thing unless you know you need it or you want it to be starting up with your computer now we're going to go over the processes tab and on the processes tab you want to drop down network so that it so sorts network from high to low. Now you want to find whatever is taking up network. And if it's something that you don't want running, 
you're going to want to end that task and probably uninstall that task, but I don't really have anything taking up Wi-Fi that I'm not, like, not sure what it is, you know, everything on here that I don't really have anything taking up Wi-Fi, but you just want your network to be at, like, 0%, and you only want your game and maybe a couple other, like, maybe, like, Discord, or if you're streaming Streamlabs, you know, you only want, like, those taking up network. So I'd recommend ending the task and uninstalling whatever you don't want using network. And next, we're going to head in and specifically do a few tweaks on our driver. Uh, this is going to be the most detrimental thing that will lower your ping. It could have a good effect, it could have a bad effect, most likely a good effect, but I always get a couple people commenting saying that it messed up their Wi-Fi router. So that is why we created the restore point. But anyway, we're going to go to control panel now. So how you can get to that is you can just right click here. Just kidding. We have to search up control panel in the search bar. So you can just type in C and it'll most likely pop up this little thing control panel. And we're going to head into network and internet. Then network and sharing center. And then you might have a few different uh, drivers pop up here. You just want to find your main one. So mine's called Ethernet. I don't know what yours is going to be called. But you just want to make sure you find the correct one. And then click on it on the blue. And once we're in here, we're going to want to head into properties. And once we're in properties, we're going to go to configure. But actually, before we do configure... You just want to make sure that you have everything unchecked here, except for Internet Protocol version 4. That's the only box you want checked here. So uncheck everything else. It's all unnecessary. And after we do that, then we are going to go to configure. And yes, configure. Now, once we have this open, it's going to look something like this. All we want to do is we want to just head over to advanced. And a quick disclaimer. So, not everyone's drivers are the same. I have Intel drivers. Other people have Realtek drivers. You know, there's a lot of different types of drivers. So, we're not all going to have the exact same settings. I doubt that anyone watching this video will even have, like, one setting that's, or that will even have, like, all the same settings as me. So, if you have an extra setting or you're missing a setting I have here, don't freak out. It's just a part of your drivers. It doesn't mean anything. Like, if you're missing a setting, it's completely okay. Just copy whatever you can. And if you have a question about a setting, let me know in the comments. If you have a question about anything in this video, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to every single one of you. But just copy the settings I have here. So anything that has the word offload in it, you just want to completely disable. So like ARP offload, disable. This DMA co-scaling, coalescing, disabled. Enable PME, disabled. Energy efficient Ethernet, you definitely want this off. It'll slow down your internet speeds to save power you don't want that flow control disabled uh just leave this gigabit master slave mode just leave this on auto detect if you have this option interrupt moderation disabled interrupt moderation rate off offload disabled jumbo packet disabled these offloads are also disabled this one local administered address if you have this you can just leave it as not present or default this one log state link event disabled Maximum number of RSS queues. So this one, you just want to head it, set it to the highest number possible. So I have four, so I'm just going to do four queues. NS offload disabled, packet priority and VLAN. This one you want disabled as well. Receive buffers. Okay, so receive buffers you basically just want at the max number possible. The highest mine can go up to is 2048. So what this does is receive buffers. And there's another one that we'll see called transmit buffers. The higher this number, the quicker your PC or your internet is sending packets back and forth to your router. So having this number higher, if you have packet loss, putting this number higher could fix your packet loss. Or it'll at least hopefully make it better. So just set this to whatever the highest can you can. Mine's 2048. Maybe you can go higher, but I'm not sure. Just uh, play with the number and see how high you can get it. Speed and duplex. You want to set this at the highest possible full duplex you don't want half duplex so uh you want at least one gigabyte per second full duplex or whatever your highest is 2.5 gigabytes per second full duplex is my highest so i have that selected if you're not sure about this one you could just select auto negotiation and that'll probably give you the same outcome 
uh if it doesn't let you select the highest one and like it keeps crashing or it doesn't save then just go one step down and that'll fix your problem and yeah now these offloads are also disabled transmit buffers uh make it the same number as receive buffers these offloads also disabled and these last four are also disabled so yeah guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this tutorial if you guys want me to go even more in depth and uh show you guys a, fr a few programs that'll help you lower your ping there's a few programs you can use that get even more in depth and advanced uh just let me know if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial i'm just trying to make this video a little bit shorter short and sweet to the point just for these people trying to get their tweaks but yeah guys if you did enjoy this uh please leave a subscription and please like the video as it gets me out there more you know i'm a small youtuber small youtubers gotta eat too bro i'm just trying to grow but yeah i appreciate every single one of you guys coming in here and watching this uh i am going to be back uploading more often i love you guys i'm sorry i made you all wait so long but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video i'll be back soon i love you all thank you and peace out